Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again. We're on our 12th win. We are jumping in this time as the Forgotten. And then we got Bethany and then we got Jacob and Ezo. Jacob and Ezo are where things are going to get a little bit rocky. Forgotten, we were okay with. Basically, I'm going to... I'm going to stop doing what I normally do. Normally, I pretty much refuse to use the soul version. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna actually try and use the soul version a little bit more. Wow, that was a really bad hit there. Uh, I have also... Wow, okay, this is a good start. I have also reinstalled all of my mods since the last episode in the hope that it might improve my frame rate somewhat. Because um, I've seen that... Like, I've had that work before. Unfortunately, that was a pretty bad guy called and Penny there. But I've had that work before, so I'm hoping... That that will work again. Um, and we'll, we'll just got to kind of see. But yeah, I'll try and use my ghost form when it's necessary. Um, not all the time, of course. But uh, when it's sort of a dangerous room or I could lose some HP or whatnot, um, I can stand behind my skeleton boy. Oh, do you know what? This is a really good run so far. All, all we need now is a, a shit hot uh, item room item. And then we are good to go. Because, yeah, so far things are looking good. Grab that. It's not shit hot, but it's not terrible. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that this um, champion belt, I, I might bomb my donation machine for that. While I'm on my streak, I'm kind of okay with it. But this is a situation where I definitely want to just use my ghosty. Um, basically, I think Whirling Leech will give me an empty burn heart, so I'm, I'd rather do my boss first. That was close. This guy has a an okay chance of hitting me because of the way he does his attacks. But he doesn't use bombs from what I can see, so a little bit easier than normal. Dude, kind of annoying to get two eternal hearts here. Uh, I'm going to go to this guy so I can't accidentally kill myself. Uh, actually, no, I'd rather have the HP on this dude. I might get a HP down here, but... We got everything good apart from a speed down. We'll take that. Unfortunately, yeah, the double eternal hearts doesn't really help us that much. Um, but we will go back through here and pick it up regardless, because why the hell wouldn't we? I mean, I suppose why the hell wouldn't we, because we don't need to, but... I suppose what I could have done is taken the other one as my soul heart guy, and got on a soul heart out of the other one, maybe? I don't know if that would have worked. But health-wise, things are looking very good for our Bernie boy right now. Um, like I said, I'm going to blow up the donation machine. I know that my donation machine has not been trapped too kindly at the moment, but um, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to grab that. And now, I'm I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. Uh, I'm also going to spend the rest of my pennies on this, trying to get a soul heart. Sadly not. I could bomb it, but I'd rather keep my bomb, to be honest. And we'll head down to the next floor gladly. We uh, are probably going to do light path here, uh, by the looks of it. We've got a few things we can do. We can go and try and do boss rush and stuff. That was a fairly slow first floor, so I don't know how super likely that is, but we'll see. But yeah, our damage right now is pretty ludicrous. Um, so we should be able to get away with using our burn form. Also as well, our burn form is a lot more HP right now. So I'm more inclined to stick with it. Um, right now what we've got is currently better, but that is a better trinket overall. So yeah, I'll, I'll, see, I'll see what I end up doing about that. Okay, so this is a situation in which it makes a lot more sense to play as Ghosty Boy. Dude, actually what is happening right now? Yet again, Ghosty Boy. Uh, using an active item has a chance to trigger one of the following dice effects. Eh, this is kind of an interesting idea, but I don't think it's that necessary for me. Extra key there is rather lovely. Pinted rock there's nice. I'm going to leave those soul hearts till after the devil deal because I might end up... Okay, these these guys explode because I might end up trading away with my soul heart.
Good, good. We've, we've currently got uh, half a heart down on our, on our current burn heart, so we're one hit off losing a burn heart right now. We got that back. Don't think this matters all that much. Oh, no, this matters a lot. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, we'll take that swap back. This is a very, very good run right now. <laughs> this run is spicy. I don't even mean to our item run, but yeah. Um, our burn swing is uh, much larger now, which is not what I expected, but I'm very, very happy with. Leave that. Until we see a... Ah, no, I'll take it. It's a bit of a gamble, because I could just lose it straight away. But I'm hoping that I find red hearts. And at the minute, we're, we're very close to the cap anyway, so if I do lose it, it's... Annoying, but not the end of the world. But yeah, I am very much liking the much, much larger swing radius we've got going on right now. That's very nice. It means we can pick stuff up at longer ranges, but also just means we're more deadly. Gotta love it. Why did I go in here? I didn't need to come in here, uh, but it's done. Luckily, I had a golden key, so it doesn't matter that I did. We get Mystery Sack, which... Honestly, isn't amazing, but it's it's extra consumables. It could give us keys when we need keys, our bombs when we need bombs sort of thing, so I won't diss it too heavily. Um, secret room here could be up here. It's actually kind of likely that it is. The only thing is I'm pretty bad at judging where the, uh, the door should be when it comes to these ones. It's like here, right? Ah, but okay. it, it, might, that, it might still be that room. I just might have placed it wrong. I don't want to waste too many bombs on this floor looking for secret room though, so let's just skedaddle, skadoodle. I, tr I tried to weave in between those to not get the slow down, but it is what it is. But yeah, so far this run's pretty schmacking. Pretty schmacking, especially on the HP front. Like, I'm kind of in awe of how much HP we've managed to garner. It's quite, it's quite hefty. I could go Mother, I suppose. This is a good run, but I don't know. It's probably easy to just try and go boss rush and stuff. So we can see our health now, so as you can see, we are potentially at risk of losing a uh, burn heart here. But if we did, like I said, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, we're no longer at risk. This is kind of what I was hoping for, to be honest. We're at max red health now, so if we get any HP ups, we want to currently take them for our soul form, because we'll actually get HP out of them in that way. Look down. In no chance. Do we have something that's telling us what pills are? Oh, it's GMO corn. We took a look down while we're doing our pill thing, I think. Tinted rock right there. A lot of golden chests out of our tinted rocks right now, which I'm not super displeased at. Book of Lucifer is very nice. Basically, on use we gain a damage up um, that lasts for the entire floor. The damage up uh, gets lower each time we use it. Until the next floor in which it resets our damage back to normal and it starts giving full damage up again and the process continues. That was a bad hit. Do I want to go to shop at this point? I don't think I do. That was really stupid. Consumables as well we're doing very nicely on. I didn't know that these uh, poops could drop keys, which is kind of weird, unless it was a champion droplet maybe, but I didn't think they could be champions, so maybe not. Oop. Keep getting myself hit right now. Don't know why I want to do these extra rooms, but for some reason they call to me. Secret room is looking there to me. Yeah. Evil charm, it's not insanely good, but it's luck increase and immunity to certain effects, which is kind of nice. Um... I will quickly pop in my shop and see if it's worth spending a little bit of extra time trying to find that one penny. It is not. I will bomb you, though. Right. Away we go. Should be a pretty quick kill with our little hippity hoppers and our crazy good damage from our burn. Yeah, this guy's going to hit me a few times, so let's be careful. Didn't get the devil deal this time. We did get a fire rate up, though, which I'm pretty happy with. And um, we'll just head on down. This is going to be a speedy run so far. Like I said, I'm going to try and make boss rush if I can. I'm not desperate to, but obviously if I can do it, I will. 
It says that somewhere there's a bunch of money in this room. Oh, I see, I see. It's down there. I'm not going to bother with that money until I know I need it sort of thing, because it's a little bit risky to grab. Walked right into that bad boy. Lovely. We are currently locked into Devil Deal, so Mega Satan isn't on the cards for us unless we get the potential to do Sack Room. But honestly, Sack Room as, um, as this guy is pretty fucking difficult to make work because you lose burn hearts. Unless you've got a bunch of um, thingies. Unless you've got a bunch of single, like, you, like, single hearts lying around so you can, like, use one, then do it again, then use one, then do it again, and you don't lose any burn hearts in the process. But obviously that's not super likely to get enough to make that work. Lots and lots of tinted rocks today. I like that. Unfortunately, an active that I'm not at all interested in. But based on the quality of this run thus far, I feel like I'm not really in a position to complain. Like, what's going on with all the tinted rocks? My god. Can we get small rock from this one as well? Booyah, baby. Our damage is ludicrous. Our speed is pretty atrocious. Who cares about speed when your damage is this high? I mean, obviously, the book is augmenting our damage a lot, but even our base damage is still really, really good. Uh, it's probably worth going in here for two keys. It probably was, yeah. I mean, it definitely was. I mean, look at all this money. This is crazy. Yeah, this was a very worthwhile room, money-wise, at least. We'll look down, we keep getting those. I'll buy this for the five bombs. Why wouldn't I? There's also a golden pill here. Bad trip is great. Pretty, Pretty fly is good. Retrovision, shot speed up, balls of steel. Range up is good. Shot speed down is fine. Now, that was overall pretty good. I'm not super enthused about the I'm excited, but overall I think that was a pretty good success. Good, good. Everything's pretty much one and done at the minute. We're full on HP as well, which is kind of crazy. Him being feared is slightly weird. Yet more damage, yet more luck. Okay. This this run is is pretty insane. You gotta love it. Probably should have waited for that guy to be in position to destroy the secret room there, but I didn't. My bad. You're not really gonna get played, are you, my get my good guy? Let's wait for this guy to do his thing and then get up in there. He's a bit of a tricky boy now that he's been reworked. That is like one of the one of the enemies that's probably been made the hardest from the reworks. Oh, okay, I just hadn't pressed the button. I was like, for some reason, thinking that I had to kill him. Dude. Why? I've already got all your schmeckles. I've already got all your money. I don't need more. I don't need more. We are definitely going to make it in time for boss rush by the looks of things. We're only on 11 minutes and we're midway through the depths one at the minute. So I'd say we're pretty golden there. Good. Got some contract from below drops there. I don't know what that was about. I think that was a room drop and my bag dropping at the same time. Because this is probably a room I should just use my range from. I'm clearly fucking things up a little bit here. It took a while. Ah, oh, this is gross. Fucking get back over here, you shit. Oh, God, I gotta hate this. He's so fast.
He's so speedy. That's definitely our biggest downside right now, is our speed is abysmal. All good there. Rubber Cement doesn't do much for us wing wacky swacky, I don't think. But otherwise it's good. Oh shit, I kind of forgot that they existed. We'd very much like to see our shop if we can. Uh, trinkets, I'm actually pretty happy with what I've got going on right now, thank you. Don't need the soul heart, weird. Get out of here, you. I think this is going to be the boss, isn't it? So I might have to skip a shop here. We're at rolling the depths one. We're at twelve. No, we've seen our shop. We've seen our shop. It was uh, full of crap. Oh, dude, the hippity hoppers! If we can save them up for a bunch of rooms, you just come in and annihilate stuff. It's awesome. Lump of coal. Lump of coal. Yeah, we got that lumpy lump. Beautiful stuff. Right, it's looking like Bosch Rush is perfectly acceptable. Mini battery, I was just about to say, is bad, but not. That active is good and needs charges. Don't know where I got the notion that it was bad from, honestly. Now, Cancer. I think Cancer's going to be better in the long run here. I mean, Cancer's really good, obviously, but I just wasn't sure because our Scuzzit things have been doing such a good job. It's it's kind of a hard decision, but I just don't think the Scuzzits are going to quite make up for the room-to-room -room damage, the guaranteed room-to-room -room damage of the extra swings. Because the, the Scuzzits aren't very guaranteed because they, they can get killed by other enemies on the way to the boss. I'll be wasted on enemies that they don't need to be wasted on, sort of thing. Crack that, crack that, crack that, crack that. Take our shop disc here. I might need to go back and go, to, go for our item room here, because it feels like this is not going to send me to the item room. Which we've, we've got plenty of time for, if that's the case, yeah. I had a feeling it would be. Right, skips, skips to the hop back. We want to be getting into the boss room by the latest of 19 minutes, so we have a good chunk of time. Obviously, the fact that our speed is low is certainly not ideal. Um, it's not crazy slow, but it does mean that just the journey itself is taking a solid 30 seconds. My hope is there's not going to be many rooms to, uh, to get through, to get to the rooms that we're looking for. And obviously, the rooms that we go through here are going to be pretty quick. And also as well, worth saying that getting charges on our active before the uh, the fight, pretty valuable. And they were both in the same spot, awesome. Unfortunately, both of those are pretty trash for us, which is a real shame. And Axolotl is actually pretty good, because that's going to spawn blue flies for us. I'm not even going to press the other button after that disaster. Uh, I'm going to say it's going to spawn blue flies for us um, after it dies. Basically, it takes a certain amount of damage, and then dies and spits out blue flies periodically. The blue flies, of course, for us, deal an insane amount of damage. So, very, very worthwhile. I'm not going to bother with the dice room, because realistically, the only room I care about is a five room. But actually, even a five room, I'm not that interested in, because it could mean, mean that we lose boss rush. So I'd rather just take the guarantee of Bosch Rush and just go for it. I'm going to use my shop disc on the um, on the thingy fight. Um, not the mum fight, the Bosch Rush fight and see what we get. It could be bad, it could be good, we'll see. Shop disc, um, generally reasonably safe, but it can give you a lot of items that don't contribute much to combat. So it might not end up being that valuable, but it's probably not going to be bad. And then here we're taking Polaroid... And in here, we're taking this, I think. I think it's worthwhile. I think it will work with our swing, so it's pretty good. K 
Cursed Dice is really good. Oh, Fruitcake is just my absolute pride and joy. Okay, we got two items that do affect combat, so that's lucky. But yeah, Fruitcake is my pride and joy. Uh, it's an item that I love at the best of times, and it's given us it on an already very good run, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now, we are probably going to take some self-damage to Fruitcake here and there, and it probably would warrant us using our um, normal form, uh, our ghost form, rather than our thingy form. So I might, I might do that a little bit on certain bosses, depending on what's ahead of us. I'm still getting, like, definitely 100% a mod that's updated recently that I'm using has, um, you okay, my guy? I think I might have to debug kill this guy because he seems to be stuck. Um, yeah, like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what, mod, mod, what mod's updated recently, but some mod has updated recently and really, really fucked up my, uh, my game in terms of how laggy it is. Like, it's not like it's crazy laggy, but I, I swear we went through a phase of it being basically no lag whatsoever, and it's back to being, like, mi once we get about midway through a run, even on a run that isn't particularly crazy in terms of tier effects and stuff, we're seeing some, some cracks appear sort of thing. Good. My dude. Two hit that bad boy. God, I f the fear is kind of annoying, actually. That hurts. Oh, fuck's sake. Got hurt for basically no reason there. I didn't realize the ghost that was during the death animation would um, cause issue for me. Hello, Monstro 2. How are you this fine day? Ah, there's a burn heart gone. It was bound to happen at some point. Holy shit, what the fuck? Oh my god. I think that's our first burn heart we've lost though, isn't it? Yeah, that little dead axolotl. Hopefully producing flies for us, but he doesn't seem to be doing a great job of that right now. I think he has a limit how many flies he can produce in a room, maybe, because, yeah, he's not producing a lot right now. The yeah, foot guy is going to be annoying. Bloody hell. Yeah, like, look, look at the frame rate there when that, that enemy was dying. That was abysmal. I don't know, like, it, it, because like I said, I've just reinstalled all my mods. It's clearly a mod that's updated that I'm using. It has, it has done something and it's fucked something up because it's, it's, it's just way laggier. Because I'm not, I'm not using, like, any, like, other big, big mods. I'm, like, I'm not, I've not got Epiphany still installed or anything. Okay. Let's start using our thingy buddy now because we're, uh, we're close to... Losing our, um, what's it called? Losing our burn heart, and I'd really rather not lose another burn heart. What? Oh, for fuck's sake, get your shit out of the way. I'm so sick of enemies dying and leaving behind crap that I can walk into and take damage. It's kind of bullshit, I'll be honest. It's kind of not okay. Right, luckily things are dying at a, a reasonably high rate. Good. Hey, we did it. We got divorce papers. Also, we got 1,000%, which is not true. <laughs> I don't really know why we gained 1,000% there, whatever it is, the a million percent achievement. But we did, for some reason. 
It is what it is. Right, down we go. Feeling reasonably good. We lost one burn heart out of that, but we got Divorce Papers Unlocked, which I think is actually a very, very strong uh, boss item to gain. But not, not bad at all. But yeah, room to room. The lag really isn't that noticeable or bad. But in, like, long rooms and, like, big boss fights, it's, it's, it seems to be really noticeable. It needs to be a pretty good room of those this late in for me to want to do it. Oh, God. Oh, this guy's invisible. I was like, where's the, where's the last enemy? This invisible bugger. Sadly, I got hit by him. Now, Hush, Hush is one that I'm a little, a little curious of if, if, whether I'm going to do or not. Because we need to do it, but I feel like uh, we, we've got a potential chance of Hush going really badly because of our current HP with our soul form and the fact that there's a... I don't have flight? I thought I had flight. Maybe I'm just thinking of when I'm in ghost form? Maybe? But yeah, I'm gonna need basically I'm gonna need more soul heart health to do it because we've got a six heart limit and we're not currently at that limit, and I think we ought to be. Sun's rather nice. That would make us swing better, I think, overall. But it would make shooting a lot harder. So I think I'm not going to take that. Oh god, I really, really am not a fan of this as a room. This is another room that's just like unfathomably laggy for some reason. Can you fuck off? Can you like close, please? Oh, what the fuck's this? Okay, apparently I meant to hit them to make them close. I didn't know that. Did not like that room. Fuck! I wasn't paying attention. Something you'll learn about me. I'm never really paying attention. Okay, all good, all good. This guy's an annoying boss as well. He takes a while and he has a really sort of iffy second phase. His first phase isn't so bad. He has a few bad attacks, but his second phase is really where things start getting annoying. Luckily, we've actually nullified that second phase pretty quickly with a, a swift freeze while he was in midair. Unfortunately, we've got an item here that's not so good. Um, boom, bow. Devil... Cannot be used against final bosses to skip... Can be used against final bosses to skip phases, excluding the final phase. So technically we could skip phase one of Hush, but is that that valuable? Just trying to sort of think here, is that something I want, or would I rather keep the Mama Mega as safety for getting to Hush? Ah, fuck it, I'll take it. I think, I think I'll make Hush, I've got plenty of time. Right, one second. Right, let's continue on. Uh, we, like I guess we've, we've, we're, we're pretty ready for this, I think. Ooh, baby. Getting a few items out of this would not be a bad shout. Oh. Okay, that was that was pretty awesome. Um, I think I'm gonna take Mr. Me because I think we've got very good damage already, and Mr. Me allows you to open the Mega Satan door, which would mean that keeping the skip card for Mega Satan is way more useful. I don't like this room. Didn't have to do that, but hey-ho. Hey. But yeah, now I'm more inclined. Uh, we just got the the fires. The fires I don't really care about. Tech point five I think is really good though, because that can fire while we're firing. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it can. Right, just keep this going and try and get a 
a reasonably quick zoom zoom. Celtic Cross, not bad. Now we're at 23 minutes. We got like seven minutes to do this whole floor. I think that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, look at that tech point five going off like crazy. A lot of extra damage. Tech point five is just a genuinely fantastic item. It's one of the better challenge unlocks in terms of items, that is. What is the best challenge unlock? Is it Yera? Is it Golden Bombs? I don't know, there's quite a few really good challenge unlocks. Thing is, I do have to survive boss uh, Hush to make Mega Satan a possibility, so I'm a little bit worried about that, I'll be honest. That corn mine, fuck off, please. Thank you. Good. <sighs> These motherfucking enemies. Oh, thank you. You insta killed him. Nice, killed you as well. Accidentally going all the wrong ways right now, though. Oh, you bastard. Oh, we got a fucking thingy card. Okay, we got a hero font here, which is nice. Probably should have saved that. We'll uh, take the sun card into the next room real quick. Grab the, uh, the skip. I, I would take the whale card, but it could give us a card that's terrible, so I'm a bit scared too, to be honest. Yeah, let's uh, let's get behind our Bernie boy here. What the fuck's going on right now? Who even knows? Got to remember our flames block shots as well. Something we found out recently. It's very useful information. Right, not much I'd take here. Right, good, good. Through we go. Down we go. Dude, these shops are clutch as fuck. I'm liking them. Didn't mean to take that rotten heart there. It's a bit stupid of me. Whoopsie. Guess we'll take Bloody Gust. To be fair, I'm actually going to hurt myself and get rid of the Rotten Heart. I think it's valuable. I also got some stats out of that too. In fact, it's probably worth doing again then, isn't it? Uh, wait until I'm not invincible anymore. There you go. <laughs> get some stats out of it, why not? Um, guillotine is just a big fat no. Leech is good HP for us. Keeper's Sack is unfortunately quite late in the game to get. But it's pretty good. Three of Pentacles do again. Spawns, three random trinkets. Each floor has a max spot, don't care. Chance to spawn, familiar when taking damage, no, don't care. One held, no, don't care. This guy takes seven at once, so he's pretty much useless for me. Blank rune. I guess I'll take this in with me, I've just got room to get my skip on the way out. Also lowers my chances of accidentally using my skip. Okay, this is pretty incredible. It's kind of laggy, but 
damage wise things are looking pretty pretty solid the lag is unbearable what happened to this game man what happened I don't know what shot's doing this but it's pretty pretty gnarly man Get that bad boy doing stuff. Blank ruin it up. Need to be using my fires whenever I get them because, like I said, they destroy shots. Okay, not quite getting the same damage as last time, which is slightly sad. But it's okay. Alright, you move down the screen, buddy. Move down the screen, do your little business. Yeah. Luckily, uh, we got five luck and the um, occultist eye, whatever they're called, which are doing crazy work. I think I let go like a millisecond before it was going to fire the fires then. But yeah, this is going pretty well. We're killing him reasonably quickly. Um, and we're not at super high risk of taking damage here. It's not as crazy fast or crazy good damage as it was in that first phase for some reason, but it's good enough. This seems to be taking forever now. Seems to kind of flip-flop between crazy good damage and then getting really slow again. I suppose it just depends on what fruitcake gives us at the end of the day. Yeah, whatever this attack is that's creating all the shots, this is the good one. <laughs> Eye of the Occult is just... Oh, no, it's not Eye of the Occult. What's it called? Occultist Rift? Ocular Rift? Just crapping on everything. Such a good item. Oh my goodness. Finally got hit by something, some sort of explosion, I'm guessing, from Fruitcake. Okay, whatever I just, just did then just ruined him. Remember to get my skip card. Hollowed ground, nice. Not a terrible item. Skip card, thank you. Right, see her then, we're going up. Now, we probably could play most rooms just, um, just, uh, for thingy, um, like, using our regular dude from room to room, but I enjoy the, the smackety smacks right now. They do so much damage, and they're, they're, they're very entertaining, so I'm gonna keep smacking, even though it's more dangerous, as I just showed there. But I leech just heal us up, so leech boy is best boy. The ladder? Not amazing, but decent enough. Can you kill these things? You can. Which takes a really long time. This is a room that I should definitely be using my thingy from. I lost a soul heart by doing that. Great. Where's the other dude? This room's fucking shit. <laughs> I hate this room. Did not, did not care for that room. I do have quite a lot of keys, got to have at least four remaining, obviously. We tapped out pretty quick there anyways. Coolio, Julio. That should be a pretty quick kill on you. Isaac me old chum. There you 
go. Nice and quick. Did get a delirium chance there, but that's not what we're going for right now. Right. Got that open. Isaac's heart, I don't fucking think so. I can't remember how Tiny Planet works with this dude. But I think it's good because it gives him a ton of range up. Uh, for our shots, I don't think it's that bad either. I think I'm just going to take it. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good for us. Nice. Give us a big old range boost. There's bombs everywhere, y'all. Some of which be ghost bombs. Right, hopefully we can find the boss reasonably fast. This is good for later, I guess. This is actually really, really good. Doubles our fire rate when we're in a... Uh, we can keep it going when we're in thingy mode. And by thingy mode, I mean not burn mode. Didn't mean to open that, but it's opened now. Not an item I want, though, because it's bad. Boss has to be this way, right? We've, we've been going for a while. Yeah, I thought so. Right, let's fight this bad boy. With the range that we have, I think that it's pretty safe to use our swingy swing. There are so many ghosties here, what the fuck? Okay, dokey, and it's Mega Satan, ahoy. We've got full soul heart health as well right now, so that's good. We never did get that speed back up to over, um, over 1.0, did we? We could do more rooms for uh, more item drops, I guess, but I think we're pretty set, to be honest. Let's just get in here. Will you skip here? Which didn't... Oh. Okay. Apparently each step of this guy's existence in terms of the bosses spawning and stuff counts as a phase. So that, that didn't really do what I was hoping it to do, to be honest. But hey ho, it's happened now. your bombs out here. Only my bombs are allowed. I got hit by something. Spawned a lot of ghosties here. Stop having so many faces, you dick. Yeah, see, tiny planet, it's good shit. Just about dodged that. Gonna need to be using those fires to destroy shots wherever we can. Because I'm not gonna be able to fully rely on a cult rift to destroy all the shots. It'll do a good job, but I'm sure it won't get everything. At the minute, it's getting everything. Still, this is taking a while. I would have thought it'd be quicker than this with the amount of uh, damage output we got going on, but... Like I said, I think it's luck of the draw with Fruitcake in how crazy your damage is. If you get certain effects, it's going to be nutty, but other effects aren't going to do too much. I mean, it's still, like, crazy good damage. It's not like it's bad at all, but 
I'm saying like we've had it be more insane. Right, we'll see if we get a delirium. I don't even know if I want to do delirium. I think we could do it, but it's a little risky. Nah, we're not going to get the chance. Either way, hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.